Deadpool was a surprise hit, breaking box office records for an R-rated movie. But more importantly, it salvaged the character of Wade Wilson after his woeful debut in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Expectations may be high this time, but Deadpool 2 comfortably satisfies them, delivering a sequel as crasser, gorier, and funnier than the last. Tell me they got that in slow motion. While there are hints we might get an X-Force film somewhere down the line, Deadpool 2 is definitely Wade Wilson's movie. He dominates every scene, and even returning characters are pushed to the sidelines. Deadpool is the star here, with Ryan Reynolds effortlessly bringing him to life once again. Credited as a co-writer, Reynolds blurs the line between himself and this character, whom he clearly loves. He's perfect in the role. For the most part, Deadpool 2 resists that classic impulse to go bigger in the sequel. In fact, the stakes are refreshingly low for a superhero movie. Wade's not trying to save the world, just himself. If you were to summarize the plot, it probably wouldn't take more than a handful of sentences. Instead, most of the runtime is spent dropping Wade into a series of potentially funny scenarios. Ooh! Yeah! Your bullets! They're really fast. Within the first hour, he tours the globe off in bad guys, attempts suicide, pees himself in a bar, kicks back in his apartment, takes an obscene amount of cocaine, and hangs out with Colossus. This scattergun structure certainly suits the manic nature of the character, leading to a decent amount of laugh-out-loud moments. But it also feels messy and aimless, as if you're watching loosely connected episodes of a sitcom, rather than a cohesive movie that's heading somewhere with purpose. The script bulges with one-liners and references to just about everything. Deadpool is aware of every other superhero movie and isn't afraid to call them out, repeatedly. You're just a clown. You're dressed up as a sex toy. So dark. You sure you're not from the DC universe? While some of these barbs raise a smirk, for the most part, they feel forced and already dated. The funniest moments are when Deadpool's allowed to subvert a scene from within, whether that's joining the X-Men or assembling his own team of mutants. It allows time for the fourth wall to be built back up so when he inevitably knocks it down, it has a much greater impact. Deadpool 2 feels smaller than your typical blockbuster as well. This isn't an issue for most of the movie, but when it attempts something more ambitious, like introducing Cable, it presents some problems. The time-traveling mutant returns to the present day to prevent the death of his wife and child in the future. But all we ever see of this nightmarish future, presumably due to budget restrictions, is a desolate view from Cable's kitchen. It's hard to get a real sense of the world Cable was born into. Josh Brolin feels like a decent fit for the role, but the movie doesn't have time to dig into his character. In the end, he's there to be a foil for Deadpool, a cybernetically enhanced straight man rather than a character in his own right. I was born into war, bred into it. Director David Leitch, perhaps best known for John Wick, brings a wonderful sense of character to each of the film's many action sequences. The opening montage sees Deadpool creatively mutilating gangsters across the world. It's a savage sequence amusingly set to the beat of Dolly Parton's 9 to 5. But the standout action belongs to Zazie Beetz's brilliant Domino, whose mutant power is luck. Her fights unfold like truncated Final Destination movies, a series of unfortunate events that lead her attackers to gruesome ends. The quality of action is high throughout, but Domino's fights are particularly witty and well executed. Deadpool 2 eventually draws his disparate elements together, gains momentum, and pushes towards something more closely resembling a traditional finale. In keeping with the rest of the movie, it's fairly small-scale, character-focused, and surprisingly emotional. Despite the character's trademark flippancy, there's a genuine warmth to Deadpool 2. The sequel not only explores Wade's flaws, but further establishes him as a unique and lovable hero. Occasionally, it runs short in terms of actual plot and doesn't make the most of Cable, but overall, it's a strong second outing for the Merc with the Mouth. That's just lazy writing. If you like that, then why not check out Deadpool 2's own Josh Brolin watching himself as Thanos in Fortnite, or watch us break down every single Easter egg and reference in the final Deadpool 2 trailer.